Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dean's Tech Talk. Today's a special episode, and today, as you can see, it is the brand new custom sleep cables I've gotten today. Let's get right into that. So, as you can see, the cables are not on the board or on the table, and they're still in the box. I had to undo the box, take things out I couldn't show on the video. So yeah, I looked at the cables a little bit, like the ones that you can see on the top, but I haven't really opened the box yet fully. So we're going to actually do semi-unboxing, and then we're also in this video we're going to review the cables, and then also install it into this guy. So first off, I'm going to give a little bit of information on these cables. First off, I got these cables from Mainframe Customs. They are amazing and they do really, really good jobs on their custom sleep cables and other custom things you can get for your PC as well, such as power supply covers and all this other jazz. Well, I asked them if they can make some custom sleep extension cables. And I wanted it all red for this red, white, and black theme I'm going on here inside. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to say right now they have um, the special sleeving on top of it. It is heat shrinkless, so it does not have that at the end where the um, connectors are at the end of the cables. Also, uh, the inner side, um, or the inner cables are shorter than the ones on the outside to make it a custom curve. And you're going to see all this in a second. I just want to tell you why I really, really like this company. Um, as you can see, or not as you can see, as like I said, it has a custom curve to it because of how they made the cables. Um, that custom curve gives it a really nice look in the case. Um, so it's not fraying out as well. So it's really nice and bent together. Also, it's heat shrink list at the tips where the uh, connectors are, so it gives it a nice, fresher, cleaner look. Um, and the way the cut, and also the way the sleeving is pretty hard and nice, and it's like pretty sturdy. So I really like the way that is. And I'm gonna stop talking now, and I want to show you guys what the cables actually look like. Let's actually look inside the box now. So let me open it up. There's a styrofoam looking thing. So yeah, there's everywhere. They're everywhere in this box. Um, when you open it, you'll see the card um, inside from Dave Miller, the owner of, I guess, Mainframe Customs. He's really, uh, he's really good. Uh, if you contact him on the email, he will respond to you pretty fast. So, yeah, they say within 24 hours is definitely within a 24-hour time frame. So you do not have to worry about them contacting you. You send it to them less than 24 hours. I think I've gotten it less than eight hours when he contacted me. Um, but yeah, he's really nice. He is a pretty hardworking man. So I'm going to leave that uh, right there. So as you can see, these are the cables inside. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take this out, or take this one out. Um, I think this is the 6-pin PCI Express, I'm guessing. Yep. So this is the 6-pin PCI Express, as you see. Um, like I said, see how they're naturally curved? Um, that's, that's really why I like these cables. Um, yeah, I really, really like these guys. They are pretty sturdy. I mean, they're pretty tough. Uh, like you can see, this one is definitely longer than the one on the inside. Um, see, see how when you fray it out, stretch it out, see how the ones on top are bending out a little bit higher than the ones at the bottom? That's because they are, like I said, shorter and then longer. Um, this is a pretty tough material. I'm actually really surprised at how tough the, uh, sleeving is, and I really like that. And as you can see, there is no heat shrink, uh, you know, plastic on the tips right here. It's, uh, heat shrinkless, uh, so I really like it. It gives it a re really nice, clean look to them. I'm gonna leave them right here. Okay. Are they gonna stand? Are they, they stand. Okay, good. Um, let's see if I can pull another one out. Okay, then we have this 8-pin, I don't know if it's a PCI Express or the, um, EPS cable. Um, I'm not sure. I'll figure that out later. Maybe it's EPS. Um, I'm gonna put that right there. Hopefully it'll stand. Are gonna stand? It stands. Okay, then I think this is the 24 pin power connector. Wow, this is really huge. Wow. Okay. Um, wow, this looks really nice. 
Yeah, so this is your 24 pin power connector. Now these are all extensions and I really want the extensions of, even though I have a modular power supply, just because I don't need a whole custom sleeve cable kit for my power supply. Because first off, I'm going to change my power supply to the, I think it's the AX1200i from Corsair or the 1500 watt power supply from them. So this is going to be switched out when I get SLI. And the SLI will probably be at the end of the year. Uh, so we'll get in the 2.0 upgrade of uh, Project Fireworks, hopefully, hopefully at the end of the year, um, maybe. Um, so yeah, but yeah, this is it. It's just same stuff again, guys. It's I really like it. I mean, look at that. When I put this in the case, it's just going to be naturally curved, so it's going to be nice and clean looking. I mean, gosh, I love the way how I just love the way this looks. It looks very, very, very clean. And it's just, and it stays in its form for a long time. It's never going to change its form because, like I said, shorter and then longer. It's never going to stretch out, really. I mean, look at that. Look how they're not fraying out in the bottom. They're just perfect. Love it. Gosh. Oh, no, fail. That's a fail. Um, let me put that back up. Anyway. Um, back into the box, we're gonna have here another 8-pin, um, this, I think this may be PCI Express, actually, because it looks exactly the same like the other one, but I don't know, this may be EPS. Uh, another 8-pin, EPS or PCI Express, I'm not sure, still, I'm gonna leave that there, is it, is it gonna stand? It should stand? Stand. Okay, then another 8-pin, okay, and I still don't know which one this is, I'll figure it out, yeah. Another 8 pin. And you're probably wondering, okay, well, two of those are going to have to be uh, PCI Express um, 8 pins because, you know, there's only one uh, 8 pin EPS on your motherboard, right? The reason why I got two 8 pins is for future upgrading. Uh, let's say if I was going to get a new motherboard, or no, let's say if I was going to get a new graphics card and um, that requires a two 8 pin, um, then I would get the extra one out, the extra 8 pin. But the graphics card I'm going with has a 8 pin and a 6 pin. So that's why I got the 6 pin as well. Um, so yeah, so I got for a future upgradeability. And also, um, the extra one, I'm going to have the extra 8 pin that's going to be laying around. Um, what I'm going to do with it is, actually I'm going to save this for you guys. Uh, you guys over there at Mainframe. I'm going to use these, uh, whatever extra one I have left. Um, I'm going to use it as a reference cables uh, to people I'm going to sell computers uh, to, you know. So let's say if I have some people uh, that ask me, hey, can you build me a computer? Uh, I want it really custom. Uh, what can you do for me? And let's say if they want some custom sleeve cables, I will probably be using you guys at mainframe. Uh, so I give this to them as a reference uh, to bring you guys some um, more, uh, you know, customers over there. Um, so I'm going to give this to them, show it, see how it feels, how it's you know, naturally curved, uh, how there's no heat shrink uh, on the bottom here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that for you guys. Um, and that's all the cables inside of this thing. I only bought five. That's all I needed. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's all, you, that's all about these cables. I mean, they're really, really nice and sturdy. If I had to say what kind of material this is out of, um, I forgot the name. I'm going to put the name up here. It's like Telio, Slevio. I don't know. I don't know how to say it first off. And I'm just going to put it up here, like I said, uh, what the name is called of these uh, sleeve cables. Um, but if I had to guess what it is, it almost feels like a plastic, but it's not. It's not really like a, a felt. Like, it's not like the type of... Um, sleeved uh, tubes that I have on the Corsair H110i GT. That is more like of a fabric. This feels like more of a plastic feeling. And what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to keep its form a lot better throughout the years. That's really um, all I could say about these things. I do want to say that I chose you guys uh, because you guys are there at mainframe because of Jay's Two Senses video of uh, viewing these. Um, he said they're really, really good and I really, I really liked what he said about them. And I really wanted to go with you, your guys' uh, custom sleep cables. So now, we are done doing the review. Right now, what we're going to do is actually install these things. Let's get right into that.
Okay, so I already have a, a kind of a small problem. See how um, the clearance here between this and this, how it's not exactly right where it is. So it's going to be pressed up a little bit, but it's still going to look nice and clean inside my system. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle to put it in, so that's all. You know what? I want to actually bring this up a little bit closer for you guys to see. How about that? Now I'm going to figure out which one's the uh, EPS connector, or EPS cable. Okay, I think I figured it out. Now I want to see if I can show you guys a good close-up. Now, as you see here on this cable, see if I can focus on that. Focus. Focus. There you go. If you guys see, see how there's like a space between there, there, and there, there, there. And there's spaces between everything, right? Now remember, I got two PCI Express cables and then one EPS. Well, if you look here, there, it's not spaced there, and there's spaces here. And then if you look at the other one right here, okay, it's the exact same thing. See? There's no spaces there. Right there. See that one? Just flat. So I got two of those, and then I got this one that it has none that's all just you know individually you know one little thing here um and if you look onto the um actual a pin eps on the motherboard let's see if i can focus onto the motherboard now if you look on it there is you know how it was um you know let's see if i can show you see how it's um connected together well on the motherboard it's not like that it's actually individual so if you were to plug this in it wouldn't go in all the way so I just looked at it examined it and I'm guessing these are my two PCI Express um, 8 pins so this is my EPS and this is going to be a very very uh, hard thing to do with my EPS now because um, my EPS I don't know if I could show you guys but my EPS is like right there right well the hole for it is like over here so the cable has to be dragged down over here to here. That's why you see that black cable. So, yeah. I'm going to pause it and then, you know, show you how it looks when it's finished because it's going to take forever. Okay, so I want to say that I did not get it in yet. It's like in the hole, but I didn't push it in. But you see the way it looks? So I want to think of that next time when I buy a case. Uh, where the uh, holes are, where the placement of the holes are, um, and everything else. Uh, so that's the way it's going to look. I, I'm going to see throughout, you know, the time if I can make it a little bit uh, more cleaner looking. Uh, but that's the way it's going to look like. Um, hopefully at the end of the video I can figure out a different way uh, to make it look a little bit better. Or a lot better, I should say. Um, but yeah, otherwise everything else is going pretty well. That's uh, one of the snags I was going through. Um, so I'm just going to, you know... I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it rolling, and I'm just gonna go fast forward. Okay. Okay, well, I think that's about it for that. Um, yeah, I got it in. That's probably as good as I could get for that right there. Um, that's what the EPS cable is like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up uh, to the inside and out to show you what you guys would see um, when I do the uh, graphics card. Now, what I'm going to do is the 8-pin and the 6-pin because I will be getting the GTX 970 uh for the Win Edition, for the Win Edition uh, Plus, I should say. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start doing these cables right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the back and find it. Now you guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have not hooked this up to it uh, because I do not want to bring any power. Uh, because sometimes I turn the power on to test the fans to see if they still work. Um, I may hook it up, depends on how uh, impatient I am. Um, but you know, patience is a virtue and I don't want to mess anything up. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pull these cables out. I have everything organized, so I'm just going to put this six pin over there. Um, this looks like it's the power for the LEDs. Uh, this looks like it's a PCI Express. Maybe. No, this is a uh, EPS. Yeah, this is EPS, it looks like. Yep, EPS. Now, so you got my two uh, PCI Express uh, cables here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Yeah. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do is actually hook these up. Um, so I'm gonna feed them. Through. I'm not gonna feed these through, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook them up back here. So for first time builders, I'm gonna show you how to install this uh, on PCI Express. Uh, all you do is uh, just plug it in. There's a little notch here, clip, match it, and it snaps in, and that's how you do it. That's all you do. Um, but I'm just gonna start doing that for the rest of them. Um, so yeah. When you look inside, the graphics card will be here, and then the 6 pin and the 8 pin will be somewhere like this. Like right up here. And it'll be just hanging like right here, plugged in, you know. And then when it's actually in, um, what I'm going to do is, is, you know, you know, form it a little bit better the way I want it to, and, you know, push it in the way I want it to, you know, so it looks all nice. That's it about the cable management in this. I'm going to go back to me now. Wow, that was uh, pretty good. Um, everything else is fine. The cables are amazing. I really like the cable Lutro, or I should say mainframe now. I'm so used to calling them Lutro. But mainframe, I really like the cables. I really, really do. I love the way it feels. I love the way they shape. Um, yeah, I mean, that. this is what it looks like in the uh, system, guys. I cannot believe I finally got my cables. Um, now, the only downside um, about the cables, it's not really cables alone, it's just, it's not even cables, it's not even cables, it's uh, how long it took to get the cables. The cables took a long time to make, and I understand because guys, this is handmade. This is literally handmade. Each person in mainframe uh, literally hand makes these. So it's going to take them a long time to do it and they have a lot of orders coming in. So think of getting a wire and they sleeve it and they stretch it and then, you know, they shrink it to the tips. And then they, you know, put the tip into it like the plastic, or not plastic, the metal like, you know, tip. And then they have to put the, the uh, plastic cover on it. And then imagine doing it for eight pins and then 24 and another eight and then another eight and then a six. It's gonna take a long time, guys. And then you have all these other orders on top of it. So I'm just gonna say, if you do order from these people, uh, from Mainframe, you are gonna, there's gonna be some time waiting. Uh, you guys are gonna take a lot, well, it's gonna take them a long time to do it, but it's worth it to me. It definitely is 100% worth it. I mean, I really, really like these cables. I mean, these are my first custom city cables, and they look amazing to me. Um, yeah, but otherwise, with the cables itself, nothing is wrong with these cables. They're flawless. I love the material they're made out of, the design, everything. I love the way they look, they feel, and how they work out. I mean, just, it works out perfectly. Um, but yeah, everything else is uh, pretty good. Um, 
that's about it. I just have right now just cable management to do in the back. I have to do cable management and I'll be done I think with the cables uh, for now. I got all my power connectors connected. I just went ahead and did my 24 pin and my 8 pin. So yeah, that's all I did. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there for you guys to look at it. Uh, but yeah, I think this is about it for the video. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. It really, really does help me. Also, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, then a little comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe at Jay's Two Cents, Minus Pet Pit, Don't Falls Hardware. And don't forget to also uh, subscribe also at Super TV. He's really good at his self reviews. Also, go check out Bonnet News. He's really, really funny and amazing at his unboxing and product uh, review and all that. Um, and that, I think that's about it, guys, for this video. See you guys next time.